In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Alleluia, Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Here we are on this Sunday between Ascension Day and the Feast of Pentecost. Between our celebration of Christ being taken up into heaven and our celebration of the Holy Spirit descending on his people. We're also in the middle of the time that we're calling Thy Kingdom Come, when we pray that Christ's Kingdom will come and that more and more people will come to know his love. What God has prepared for those who love him he has revealed to us through the Spirit, for the Spirit searches everything. Therefore, let us in penitence open our hearts to the Lord, who has prepared good things for those who love him. Lord Jesus, you suffered a cruel death on the cross for our redemption. Yet we have forgotten your pain and stayed in the realm of the evil you defeated. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you were raised from death to bring us new life. Yet we have preferred the comfort of the familiar and the empty promises of a sinful world. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you have ascended to your Father and our Father, your God and our God. Plead there at the right hand of God for our forgiveness and entry into the fullness of his presence. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life through Christ our Lord. Amen. Glory to God, our hearts to you we wait. Joy and peace on earth in highest heaven praise. Songs of adoration, Lord, to you we bring. Praising your great goodness, Father, heavenly King. Glory to God. Our hearts to you we raise. Joy and peace on earth in highest heaven praise. Son of the Father, bearing this world sin, Lamb of God, have mercy. Grant us peace within. You, O Christ, are holy. You alone are Lord. With the Holy Spirit, evermore adored. Glory to God, our hearts to you we Let us pray. O God, the King of glory, you have exalted your only Son, Jesus Christ, with great triumph to your kingdom in heaven. We beseech you, leave us not comfortless, but send your Holy Spirit to strengthen us 
and exalt us to the place where our Saviour Christ is gone before, who is alive and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God now and for ever. Amen. Now we go to you in your homes as we listen to the readings for this Sunday. Reading from the Acts of the Apostles When the Apostles had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Then they returned to Jerusalem, from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. Peter and John and James and Andrew Philip and Thomas, Bartholomew and Matthew, James, son of Alphaeus, and Simon the Zealot, and Judas, son of James. All these were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. This is the word of the Lord. May God arise, may his enemies be scattered, may his foes flee before him. May you blow them away like smoke, as wax melts before the fire. May the wicked perish before God, but may the righteous be glad and rejoice before God. May they be happy and joyful. Sing to God, sing in praise of his name. Extol him who rides on the clouds. Rejoice before him. His name is the Lord, a father to the fearless, a defender of widows. Is God in his holy dwelling? God sets the lonely in families. He leads out the prisoners with singing. But the rebellious live in a sun-scorched land. When you, God, went out before your people, when you marched through the wilderness, the earth shook, the heavens poured down rain. Before God, the one of Sinai, before God, the God of Israel, you gave abundant showers, O God, you refreshed your weary inheritance, your people settled in it, and from your bounty, God, you provided for the poor. Sing to God, you kingdoms of the earth. Sing praise to the Lord, to him who rides across the highest heavens, the ancient heavens, who thunders with mighty voice. Proclaim the power of God, whose majesty is over Israel, whose power is in the heavens. You, God, are awesome in your sanctuary. The God of Israel gives power and strength to his people. Praise be to God. A reading from the first letter of Peter. Beloved, do not be surprised at the fiery ordeal that is taking place among you to test you 
as though something strange were happening to you. But rejoice in so far as you are sharing Christ's sufferings, so that you may also be glad and shout for joy when his glory is revealed. If you are reviled for the sake the name of Christ, you are blessed, because the Spirit of glory, which is the Spirit of God, is resting on you. Humble yourselves, therefore, under the mighty hand of God, so that he may exalt you in due time. Cast all your anxiety on him, because he cares for you. Discipline yourselves. Keep alert. Like a roaring lion, your own adversary, the devil, prowls around, looking for someone to devour. Resist him, steadfast in your faith, for you know that your brothers and sisters throughout the world are undergoing the same kinds of suffering. And after you have suffered for a little while, the God of all grace, who has called you to his eternal glory in Christ, will himself restore, support, strengthen and establish you. To him be the power for ever and ever. Amen. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Alleluia. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful people and kindle in them the fire of your love. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Hear the Gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to John. Glory, Glory to you, you O Lord. Jesus looked up to heaven and said, Father, the hour has come. Glorify your Son, so that the Son may glorify you. Since you have given him authority over all people, to give eternal life to all whom you have given him. And this is eternal life that they may know you, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom you have sent. I glorified you on earth by finishing the work that you gave me to do. And so now, Father, glorify me in your presence, with the glory that I had in your presence before the world existed. I have made your name known to those whom you gave me from the world. They were yours, and you gave them to me, and they have kept your word. Now they know everything you have given me is from you. For the words that you gave to me I have given to them, and they have received them, and know in truth that I came from you, and they have believed that you sent me. I'm asking on their behalf. I'm not asking on behalf of the world, but on behalf of those whom you gave me, because they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I have been glorified in them. And now I am no longer in the world but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, O Christ. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It's a strange time. You might think I'm referring to the crisis that's gripping our world, 
and this is a strange time. For this th sermon though, I'm really thinking about this Sunday between Ascension Day and Pentecost. It's a strange in-between time. And we can see that when we look at the readings that we've been given. It was easy enough on Ascension Day. On Thursday we read about Jesus' Ascension in the Acts of the Apostles. And we read a different version of that story, also written by St Luke, from the end of his Gospel. We also read a passage from Ephesians, which talks about Jesus' exaltation to the seat of glory. As it put it, God put this power to work in Christ when he raised him from the dead and seated him at the right hand in the heavenly places, far above all rule and authority and power and dominion. It's easy enough to choose readings for next Sunday too, Pentecost. There's the story of the coming of the Holy Spirit in Acts. And there's an account of Jesus breathing the Holy Spirit on the Apostles from the end of John's Gospel. We will also read a passage about the gifts of the Spirit from 1 Corinthians. But what about the Sunday in between these? What can we say about what happened then? There isn't very much to work with. We're told that the disciples went back to the upper room in Jerusalem and prayed. We're given a list of the apostles, 11 of them because Judas had gone, and so we learn how Matthias takes his place, reading we read about on his feast day 10 days ago. This means that our first reading today is similar to the one we read on Thursday. Today's passage starts a couple of verses further on. We begin with the disciples' question to Jesus, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? Jesus explains it's not for them to know. But the passage ends a couple of verses later than the one on Thursday with a list of who they all were. To complete the story, at the end of chapter 1 of Acts, the number of apostles is made up to 12 again. That seems significant in the light of the disciples' question, and especially if you remember what Jesus said to them after the Last Supper. I confer on you, just as my Father conferred on me, a kingdom, so that you may eat and drink at my table in my kingdom, and you will sit on thrones, judging the twelve tribes of Israel. Whatever the answer to the question about restoring the kingdom to Israel, we can surely see a new Israel being established. The second reading was from the first letter of Peter, which we've been following since Easter. That letter is about remaining faithful to our calling through all the difficulties that might arise. For the people who first received the letter, those difficulties were the insults and persecutions that Christians suffered at that time. Our reading today is a good summary of the whole letter. It invites us to stand with Christ in the insults and sufferings that he endured, and to resist the temptation to give in, remembering that we're one with Christians around the world. Gospel reading. Like nearly all the Sunday Gospel readings since Easter, comes from St John. Although these words come from Jesus' prayer on the night before he died, 
But what he says suits this time after his ascension. Christ speaks of his glorification, which is accomplished in his death, resurrection and ascension. He talks about no longer being here with us, and he passes the baton on to us. As he says, now I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you, Holy Father. Protect them in your name that you have given me, so that they may be one as we are one. These then are our themes for this time. God in his glory, which we also find in our psalm today. His people left to do his work on earth. The unity which gives us strength as Christians and the kingdom that God is establishing. They are our themes for this time between Ascension Day and Pentecost. And it's very appropriate that we're being called to be part of the prayer movement, Thy Kingdom Come, during these ten days. We're invited to pray as the disciples did in the upper room. We're being invited to pray, Thy Kingdom Come so that there will be a fulfilment of that last question that the disciples asked Jesus. They're being asked to pray that more people will come to know the love of Jesus, remembering how the disciples went out after this time to tell people all about him. This is our calling too. We have been given his spirit as they were at Pentecost. And these are very proper themes for the very particular times we're in now. When everything seems something of a mess, we need to remember that Jesus has been exalted as Lord over all the earth. When people are struggling, we're here to proclaim his love and to continue the work of bringing in his kingdom. When this all seems too daunting and we're tempted to give up, we must remember that we're not alone. We're united with Christians around the world. So I do encourage you to use the resources from Thy Kingdom Come to help you in your prayers during this time. Pray for each other. Pray for Christians everywhere. Pray for others to know the love of Jesus. Pray for the coming of His Kingdom. Pray, especially at this time, Thy Kingdom Come. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us proclaim our belief in our risen and ascended Lord. We believe in one God, the Father, the Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all that is seen and unseen. We believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only Son of God, eternally begotten of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, of one being with the Father, through him all things were made. For us and for our salvation, he came down from heaven was incarnate from the Holy Spirit and of the Virgin Mary, and was made man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried. 
On the third day he rose again in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end. We believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is worshipped and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. We believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. We acknowledge one baptism for the forgiveness of sins. We look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Almighty God, our Heavenly Father, we come to you with thankful hearts in the knowledge that before we loved you, you loved us first, and that you will hear us when we pray in faith. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Holy Lord, we pray for our churches at a national and a local level. We ask you to bless all our church leaders, including Bishop Paul. We pray for Father Tom and all our ministry team. In these days between Ascension and Pentecost, we pray for all Christians to have the confidence to share the good news of Jesus Christ. We link our prayers with the global wave of prayer movement, Thy Kingdom Come, praying that friends and family, neighbours and colleagues might come to faith. We take the time now to pray for up to five specific people, naming them in our hearts and minds. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Generous Lord, who knew suffering and pain on the cross, we cry to you to look kindly upon all those suffering from the coronavirus in this country and in other places around the world where they do not have our health care resources or infrastructure. We pray for our stewardship of this earth. Help us realise where we are squandering its rich resources or taking your generous gifts for granted or failing to share your bounty with all of your children. Lord, as you send rain and flowers even to the wilderness, renew us by your Holy Spirit. Help us to sow good seed in time of adversity, and live to rejoice in your good harvest of all creation. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Gracious Jesus, we sometimes feel small in a troubled world, but we know we can cast all anxiety on you. We ask for courage and wisdom for our political leaders as they face the unknowns of dealing with the COVID-19 pandemic, working out how to keep people safe from infection, but also fed and housed, schooled and working. We pray for all those in Derby and beyond who face losing their employment at Rolls-Royce and for all those other businesses who are in the supply chain to those jobs. We pray for those in India whose lives and livelihoods have been devastated by Cyclone Amphan and where the coronavirus restrictions make relief efforts even more difficult. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we thank you for all the blessings we have. However, some of our community are in particular need of a sense of your healing presence. Some are sick. Some are exhausted caring for the sick. Some are locked down in abusive relationships. Some are mourning the loss of loved ones. 
In our cycle round Keyworth, we pray for those who live or work on Nicker Hill. Loving God, we know we are called to notice the needs around us with the eyes of Jesus, to love the needy with the heart of Jesus, and to show practical care with the hands of Jesus. We pray for grace to follow our calling. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We pray for all who have died, both far from home and here in Keyworth. In our own parish, we remember the recently departed. Thelma Kathleen Down, Geoffrey Ashley, John Geoffrey Powell and Derek McNally. Merciful Father, accept these prayers for the sake of your Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. God has made us one in Christ. He has set his seal upon us and as a pledge of what is to come, has given the Spirit to dwell in our hearts. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Lord of all and source of our joy, receive our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving. Keep us in the love of Christ and bring us to the vision of his glory. Through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and to praise. It is indeed right, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, for he is our great high priest who has entered once for all into the heavenly sanctuary, evermore to pour upon your church the grace and comfort of your Holy Spirit. He is the one who has gone before us, who calls us to be united in prayer as were his disciples in the upper room, while they awaited his promised gift, the life-giving spirit of Pentecost. Therefore all creation yearns with eager longing, as angels and archangels sing the endless hymn of praise. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Lord, you are holy indeed, the source of all holiness. Grant that by the power of your Holy Spirit and according to your holy will, these gifts of bread and wine may be to us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ, who in the same night that he was betrayed took bread 
and gave you thanks. He broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take, eat. This is my body which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way after supper, he took the cup and gave you thanks. He gave it to them saying, drink this all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. Praise to you, Lord Jesus. Dying, you destroyed our death. Rising, you restored our life. Lord Jesus, come in glory. And so, Father, calling to mind his death on the cross, his perfect sacrifice made once for the sins of the whole world, rejoicing in his mighty resurrection and glorious ascension, and looking for his coming in glory, we celebrate this memorial of our redemption. As we offer you this our sacrifice of praise and thanksgiving we bring before you this bread and this cup and we thank you for counting us worthy to stand in your presence and serve you send the holy spirit on your people and gather into one in your kingdom all who share this one bread and one cup so that we in the company of mary the mother of god Mary Magdalene, the Apostles and all the saints may praise and glorify you forever. Through Jesus Christ our Lord, by whom and with whom and in whom, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory be yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. Amen. Being made one by the power of the Spirit, let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory, for ever and ever. Amen. Jesus says, I am the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. Lord, our hearts hunger for you. Give us this bread and Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Hallelujah. Christ our Passover is sacrificed for us. Therefore, let us keep the feast. Hallelujah.
Let us pray. Eternal God, giver of love and power, your Son, Jesus Christ, has sent us into all the world to preach the gospel of his kingdom. Confirm us in this mission and help us to live the good news we proclaim through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. That prayer neatly sums up the prayer that we make during this time between Ascension and Pentecost, Thy Kingdom Come. There are links to plenty of materials that we can use during this time to deepen our prayers. And so do follow those links and the links to other videos as well that will be at the end of this service. The Lord be with you. And also with you. The Spirit of Truth leads you into all truth. Give you grace to confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And strengthen you to proclaim the word and works of God. And the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be among you and remain with you always. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Alleluia.